Hello all. So since we have some idea about hardware software code design now, let's try to do something interesting. So let's try to develop uh, our traditional snake game on Zboard. Okay, so again, we are going to do a software hardware code design approach. You can build this uh, application easily using in pure software and the uh, Zing processor will be able to run it. The PS part will be able to implement it. But what we'll do is part of the game will be run in hardware. I mean, most part will be run in hardware. The core logic will be in hardware. The software will be just used for controlling our display or checking some uh, corner cases like the weather game is over, something like that. Otherwise, most of the part will be done in hardware. Then only we can call it a hardware software code design. Only because you are running something on uh, Zboard, we cannot say like uh, this is hardware software code design because many cases you will see like uh, uh, people will be running application on FPGA, but they will be running either on only the PS part or they will be running on pure uh, soft processes that we cannot call a hardware software code design. Okay, So there should be some software part, there should be some real hardware part, and they will be working in some kind of union. Okay, So that's what we are trying to do. On the screen, you can see the game is already running. So uh, the snake, it is moving once every second. And uh, you can see it is catching the prey. And whenever it catches the prey, the size of the snake is increasing. Also on the top right corner, you can see the current score. So for each prey, we will increment the score by one. And once we catch us uh, 10 preys, the speed of the snake will increase. Okay, so the speed will double actually. So we can see it. So I'm going to use this uh, four push button on the Z board to control the snake. And the center button, you can press it anytime and keep it pressed if you want to hold the snake for some time and as soon as you release it the game will restart so our score is now seven so now it is eight nine And, ten. and now you can see like it is moving faster. It is moving at uh, double the speed. Now the traditional other stuff are still there. So if the snake bites itself, you will see game over. It will print game over on the screen. And if you again press the center button, if you want to restart the game, so it will restart. And also if the snake hits the frame, uh, hits the wall, in that case also, there will be game over. Okay, so in addition to that, there are some more features. One is you can always control the size of the playing area. Okay, for example, now it is, uh, I have configured it 40 by 20 uh, size. Now if I change it to 60 by 40, look like this now we have a larger playing area now if you wish like a bigger snake because uh, you are playing somewhat further away so you want to increase the size of everything that is also possible so you can see it. Now you have a super big snake actually, which is uh, four times larger than our previous snake. Okay, now 
there are again another feature there is something called our dark mode like our traditional so if we enable dark mode everything will be in black the frame will be in black Black. So these are the main features. There are other options like you can change the color of snake prey or the border, whatever you want. And also you can choose what should be the initial speed of the snake. You can also set like whether the speed should increase each time it reaches some particular value or whether it should remain constant all these options so a lot of these control things they are done in software but the core logic like uh, how the snake moves when the snake should move uh, these are purely done in hardware where should be the next position of the prey it is partly done in hardware and partly done in software and when the game is over so we can have game over due to two reasons either the snake is hitting the wall or the snake is biting itself so snake hitting the wall case is taken care in software but snake biting itself that is taken care in hardware so in that sense it's a pure hardware software code design so the uh, actual development we will do in some of the future tutorial today i just wanted to give you an introduction and i would like those who has that board to try it out so I'll be just showing what we can do, provide that you have the bitstream and the ELF file. Okay. So the only thing that you need to run this is the hardware part, which is the bitstream and the software, which is the ELF. So if someone gives you the bitstream and ELF, how to run it. So there are many ways of doing it. One is you can use the SD card coming from that port, but the SD card comes with the Linux preloaded. So we don't want to mess it up. That is one reason. Uh, so instead of that, I will just show you using SDK how you can just do it. It's it's very easy. So in the Git, uh, I'll be providing the bitstream and the ELF file. So what you can do is you can just go to Silings SDK and the version, it really doesn't matter. Provide that uh, it supports sync devices, so any version, future or past. I'm using 2017 for developing, but uh, here I'm trying to use SDK version 2018.3. So you choose that. And you just choose create application project and give some name to your project and BSP it doesn't matter but here you should choose a Z hardware platform predefined and here you can choose empty application So you just go to run, run configuration and just to do the run configuration. That's it. So here you can choose a standalone application and here you need to browse and give the bit file. So I will provide you with the browse. So in git in executable, I have the bit file here and click all these options and under application, you browse and uh, choose the ELF file that will be provided and you can just say run and now you will have it now you cannot change any configuration here so this is a pre-built image hardware as well as software so this is how it will look like but all other features are still there okay so the frame size or color 
you cannot change any of them but uh, you will be able to test the application whether it is working or not now the detailed development i will discuss from next tutorial onwards both the hardware and software development and see you soon